Hi, welcome to my fifth vlog. This week we learned about obfuscation. I couldn't even say the word until I heard the professor say obfuscation. I used to call it obfuscation or obfuscation because I couldn't say the word. However, obfuscation, I just said obfuscation. Obfuscation is when a group of people, a person or a company, organization, give misleading information for somebody else's data collection and or surveillance. So for example, when you give information about yourself, obfuscation is really giving misleading information, is giving the wrong information to interfere with you being profiled or with you being tracked. This has become one of the tactics to be able to keep our privacy online or on our phone, on our computers, and to have these companies who pay for our profiles not have all the benefit. So the purpose of obfuscation is really just to help us keep our privacy online, on social media, on social networks, on websites. It could be on social websites. It could be on different kinds of websites like magazines, when you read magazines online, different articles, scientific websites. They all have cookies, they all have beacons, they all try to track you. And so obfuscation is a tactic to help us not be tracked and not be taken advantage of when online just for the surveillance and for the well-being of others or for the profit of others. One of the websites that was produced to promote obfuscation was Adnasium. So Adnasium just clicks every ad that comes up on the different websites you're on. This prevents other third parties or big companies and organizations that pay for our profiles to really know us or to really know what we like because when we click on these ads obviously profiles are being created of us so Adnasium clicks on all the ads obstructing the data collection the genuine data collection that these organizations collect from us so we're gonna look a little bit into that i've been using onasium for about a week now or two weeks i want to say i began using it last week so today we're gonna see how many ads are collected and i'm going to reflect upon how it really does reflect my personal likings or if it really doesn't combine or if the ads that were clicked um, were really what I liked. So we're gonna see a little bit into that. As data hoarding corporations keep sabotaging the constitution of the do not track standard and ad networks keep selling our profiles behind our backs, we are left with no choice but to fight back. From the studios that brought you Track Me Not, the browser extension that keeps searching to obfuscate your search queries, comes yet another data obfuscation plugin, Ad Nauseam. That was a very intense advertisement for Ad Nauseam, but it's really good because it really just brings out the importance of the subject. So this is Ad Nauseam, this is my info, and these are all the ads Ad Nauseam has collected throughout my browsing, throughout me going on YouTube and going online shopping and just searching up different articles. I still have some open as you can. So what Amazium has done, it has clicked on all these ads, confusing the information that's giving to advertising companies like Google ads or Amazon ad system, as we can see here on the left. And the information that it's giving, it's not, not to say untruthful, but it's very misleading because it can't conduct an accurate profile of me having clicked all these ads. As you can see here, Google Ads produced 153 of the ads. So these are the top ad networks, Amazon Ads and YouTube.com, which we have learned previously are some of the biggest data collecting companies which pay lots of money to give us personalized ads. The cost of all my ads has been $267.02, which is pretty impressive considering I've only used it for about four days. It says since Tuesday, October 27th. Understanding 
how fundamental this has been to my privacy is very important. A lot of advertising companies pay for this information and they pay for knowing if I'm going to vote for Trump or they pay for knowing if I'm going to subscribe to Vogue or there's many things they pay for really. I was searching up paper towels recently as we could see here and this is really a profile that they collect of me and right now it's in this ad vault but this is really the profile that a lot of companies pay for and just understanding how important obfuscation is it's understanding how important our online privacy, our social network privacy is. So this is just me analyzing ad nauseum and I am going to use it from now on. I'm going to use Firefox from now on because I've seen that it does a very good job of protecting my privacy. Thank you for watching.